Today I've challenged myself to create a visual in 10 minutes. This is the result. 10 minutes on the clock, let's go. I'm going to do this in a voiceover format because I tried talking while I was making this visual and it didn't go so well. I was mainly concentrating on the visual. Uh, but I will talk you through. Uh, I'm starting here with a circle top. Uh, I'm gonna do everything in tops by the way, so no 3D work. Uh, and I think next is a yes, it's a displace, and I'm gonna displace this with a noise. Uh, the noise can be animated. Uh, I think most of you have seen that before. I'm now dragging the displace weight down. The resolution of the noise should be the same as the circle. Uh, and then in the transform tab, uh, this third translate uh, number, you can. If you change that value, the noise will move. So usually we can uh, insert a Python expression in there like abs time.seconds or something else, but I'm now doing something else. I'm using a constant and a speed chop. Uh, by this we can control the speed and that's gonna be uh, useful later because I had planned to make the speed of the noise uh, audio reactive. Um, so yeah, now, now we can see our first uh, visual yeah let's slow it down a bit um, and then I'm gonna change the noise to make it a bit more simple um, and the cool thing in this video is uh, I discover something I've not done before so because I set a time pressure of 10 minutes on myself I just started making stuff and all of a sudden I came along something which was really cool uh, I'm gonna put a displace inside of a feedback loop and that looks really cool so stick around just some harmonics uh, just some really harmonic noise on the displace and then we're taking an edge uh, and making it the same color so basically we could have just left the first circle white because the edge takes makes it white again and we have to configure the color again um, but that doesn't matter and here is my initial feedback loop. Uh, this is taking the input, fit, fitting it into the feedback loop, doing a transformation and adjusting the level. Uh, and if you do this, you can see you get something really funky. Um, we always have to add in a keyboard in um, to be able to reset uh, the feedback loop. So now we can reset it. And I think I'm gonna yeah, composite it and we can play around a bit with the uh, uh, operation types. So uh, adding it on top will give us this ugly thing. Um, so I'm gonna turn down the brightness a bit and make it scale a bit so every frame it goes through here it gets skills it gets skilled just a little bit and by this you get this like zooming effect and if you scale it down it fades fades away i think i'm gonna uh, yeah i went for a really close to one value yeah this is the thing i discovered i suddenly thought yeah what if we put in uh, this place in the feedback loop and at first this looks really ugly but if you turn down the um displayed weight weight you get something really interesting uh and i thought this was pretty cool so with only five minutes left on the clock we've already made something interesting i'm not gonna say it's really pretty but it's definitely interesting and it's a visual so uh, we could have stopped right here, but I'm gonna make it audio reactive in a bit, so it um, the the speed of the displacement and the noise uh, is going to change on music. If you want to dive further into this project, you can check out my Patreon. Uh, I will put this file, so the end result, put it. Uh, I will put it on there, and there are many other files. Uh, so it would help me a lot if you were to check it out. Yeah, I think the audio reactivity starts now. So with the device out, we can hear it. The standard touch designer song. Uh, I'm muting it because I've heard it 
way too often. And then my standard audio analysis, so a spectrum and then an analyze, uh, and then a math after that uh, to scale it down because the um, initial value is now going up to 0 0.1 or something. And I want it to be between 0 and 1. So by now I can link this to the constant which defines the speed and now on every louder part of the music the uh, noise will move faster so our visual gets displaced faster. Uh, just turned out the volume so we can keep it in the back. After I was done with this visual I also experimented a bit with the audio analysis toolkit from Touch Designer which uh, has a kick trigger so on every kick it would move a certain amount that was also really cool but I'm not figuring that out in the last three minutes but it would be something if you if you're following along great but uh, that would be something you can play around with uh, with yourself uh, if you do so leave a comment and tell me how it worked and if it looked cool I'm interested to see what you can do yeah I'm adding a blur because I th thought the uh, visual was a, was a bit too harsh now it's a bit prettier it's still not super great it's <laughs> only 10 minutes usually I take longer um, but it's 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 like a basis on which we can build further and especially the displacement in the feedback loop is great so I'm trying the same thing here again just adding another displace because who knows uh, I think I'm gonna use this yeah I'm gonna use the original image and this does, does something super crazy which I absolutely don't like so this creates like a scaling to the upper right uh, now with the same noise it's just the previous result but just a bit more intense uh, but I think I'm not using this just play around a bit with the uh, brightness if you go to one it fills it up completely and if you go too low uh, you can't really see the effect of your feedback loop Let's see. We have one minute left, and I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna change one more thing. I'm gonna add another math uh, and make it uh, scale the circle. So this is way too intense. And now I'm gonna tidy up my code a bit because I should have. Uh, added a null uh, after the analyze basically after every component so you can add in stuff later uh, because I want to add in a lag now um, which basically makes our signal a bit smoother uh, which is always nice so yeah this makes it way better So I think for the last 10 seconds I'm only changing the color. Uh, yeah, let's see. Just a bit, bit darker, a bit more refined. And I think that's the yeah, that's the time. This is our final visual. Uh, I hope you think this is interesting. Uh, I really learned something from these 10 minutes. Um, the displays was interesting. Uh, if you thought so too, please leave a like or a comment uh, and check out my Patreon if you want this project file.